December 2nd, 2020, MGM Resorts gained $700 million from another deal with the landlord. MGM Resorts International is cashed out on $700 million as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to damage the national gaming and hospitality industries. On Wednesday, the company announced that its affiliate real estate investment trust, MGM Growth Properties, had given MGM Resorts the money in exchange for 23.5 million operating partnership units. While well, MGM Resorts surrendered some of its stake in the REIT and now has more liquidity on hand to weather the rest of the coronavirus pandemic. This is the second time MGM has exchanged operating partnerships units in exchange for 700 million from MGM Growth Properties, which owns the land under a number of MGM properties. The two companies agreed that MGM could purchase up to 1.4 billion worth of units and the first 700 million exchange took place in May. I've got a link to this article in the description of this video if you want to read the whole article. Um, what caught my attention was the 700 million. And the reason for that is that October 2nd, 2020, the Route 91 mass shooting victims receive 800 million settlements from MGM Resorts. And uh, the interesting thing about that is that MGM itself will pay only 49 million with remaining 751 million deriving from insurance policies. That was the 800 million settlement for the Route 91 victims, the MGM resorts. Anyways, I just thought it was very interesting that they were cashing in on COVID, but they were refusing to pay more to the victims of the Route 91 mass shooting. The link to both articles talked about in this video are both in the description of the video if you'd like to read the full articles.